imagine a world where people and machines work in perfect harmony. A world of electronic printers and typewriters, microcomputers and advanced network systems. A world where machines not only print beautifully but will copy, store or send your ideas anywhere in the world at the touch of a button. Good morning, Hawks! Today is Friday, April 30th, 2021. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For lunch today, there's a choice of ravioli marinara with an optional breadstick, a cheese pizza slice, or chicken bacon baked ranch salad. And the sides are garden side salad, green beans, frozen fruit treat, and fresh fruit. Now to Mr. Gamble for the rest of the announcements. Good morning, Hawks. It's Friday, April 30th, last day in April, and you'll love it when we get the first day on a Monday and the last day on a Friday. How convenient. Uh, what's, we're still waiting on soccer news, soccer news on the playoffs, what teams and where our teams will be playing. Should start next week. In the meantime, students are enjoying our covered basketball court up here on the north side of the campus. All lots of seventh sweaty seventh graders Thursday morning after using it. So remember, here's the schedule again. Eighth graders, eighth graders get the outdoor court on Mondays and Fridays. Sixth graders get it on Tuesdays. Seventh graders get it on Thursdays. Wednesday, who gets it? Nobody. Okay, so we need a break. We have meetings, things like that. So Wednesdays, we give it a break. Fortunately, we have the park, which leads me to next message. Good job on cleaning up after yourselves. We can still do better. Remember, perfection is our goal. Nothing out there at all. But um, as far as big bags and everything like that, very little of that this morning or yesterday morning. And uh, remember, if you see something, just pick it up, bring it to me. I'll be happy to throw it away for you. But big thing is just get it off the ground. You see something on the ground, it's there, it shouldn't be there, pick it up, throw it away. There are garbage cans around there. Moving on then, uh, well, got, oh, next Saturday, next Saturday we have ELA testing for our Digital Academy students will be coming back on campus again. So. Got this next week to get prepared for the ELA. It's an important marker. We know the uh, test, the, you know, the implications have been dialed back a bit because it's an unusual year. However, you want to do your best. We need to measure students, see where they're at, see where you might need help the following year. Okay, so always do your best on these tests. Moving on to our animal of the day, courtesy of Mr. Bailey's first period class, is the capybara, native to South America, has distinction as, yes, the world's largest rodent. As Mr. Bailey has captioned here, a rodent of unusual size. How big is it? I think it's like the size of a a small pig, about three feet long, perhaps. I remember about mm, 26, 27 years ago, there was a story in the paper. Some guy was in a boat going down the Itchituttany River, not in the park, but where you get out of the, the state park, still the Itchituttany River before it flows in the Santa Fe. And he said he was attacked by a mutant rodent and he happened to have a rifle and shot it. Well, it turns out it was a capybara that escaped from somebody's property that had some exotic animals like a capybara. Did it threaten the guy? No, he just saw it. And of course, the big question is, what's this dude doing on a boat with a rifle? Okay, not hunting season, hmm, poaching perhaps. Don't think you got in any trouble, but people are like, wow, why'd you shoot a, a big rodent like that? Anywho, now you know what a capybara is, and maybe you'll see one probably in a zoo, probably not out in the rainforest of South America. So remember, let's be kind always to rodents, whether they're bothering us or not, unless they're rats, and then we put out tra- traps and bait for them, right? So be kind always to each other, it makes us the kind of school everyone wants to be at, listen to and follow all directions from adults. No one asks you to do anything unreasonable at all. And finally, give someone a compliment during the day. When you receive a compliment, look that person right in the eye and say, thank you. It's quite easy to do. All right, let's have a fantastic Friday, Hawks, and a safe weekend. Ciao.
Now, let's watch Buildings Battle. Architecture. A thing that exists. Have you ever wondered what would happen if two buildings fought to the death? Well, neither have I, so here we go. The Rugong Hotel versus the head office of the India's Fisheries Department. Obviously, the fish wins. An elephant building in Ham, Germany, or an elephant building in Bangkok. Uh, the one in Ham wins. The Palace of Versailles, or the Forbidden City. Um, Forbidden City wins because it's bigger. A castle in Osaka, or a sheep building in New Zealand. Hmm. The sheep wins. Mont Saint Michel versus a Walmart in Canada. <sighs> it's a tie. Both are architectural masterpieces. <laughs> Pop, 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 pop,